Hello, hello, how are you? I am back again, Mary is having a quick nap, so I thought I would do a little garden update. We have had a real mixed bag since I last filmed. We have had some huge achievements. I mean, the courgettes are prolific. I swear to God, every time I blink, there's another courgette, there's another courgette. It's like, they just keep coming, it's crazy. Been roasting them, pickling them, freezing them, it's a lot of fun. But we have had some major lows. The word maggot will come up in this video, just so you know, it's not been fun. But um, overall, I'm still feeling optimistic about gardening, so that is the main thing. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna take you outside. Also, I know I look ill, I'm not. I'm just not wearing any makeup, just so you know. Don't wish me a speedy recovery. Anyway, let's go outside and see what's going on. Oh, look. Okay, so as always, excuse the mess, but first of all, I'm going to show you my pumpkin patch. Um, we're doing quite well over here. I'm really excited. We've got some windfall apples. Um, I have to wait till they drop because the tree is so tall that I literally cannot get to them. But over here, this is probably one of my favorite things that's, that's happened. Look at this. That is going to be a butternut squash. I'm so excited. Um, aside from that, we've got a pumpkin hiding somewhere. Oh, look, there it is. A pumpkin. I don't know if you can see it. Pumpkins really hide. We've got a pumpkin. We've got, we've got more pumpkin activity. Some are doing better than others. I like that one. That one looks really sad. But yeah, hopefully more will happen here. But the butternut squash is giving me life. And of course, the windfall apples are lovely. Some of them come down like that. But some of them come down looking pretty good and I pick them up, been making crumbles, it's pretty good. Anyway, let's go over here. I can't remember, did I show you already? But we have a plum tree. We planted it, we're not gonna get any plums for two to three years, it takes a while. But when they come, we're gonna have Victoria plums. And we've got another plum tree there. And the flower bed is filling up. Oh my God. <laughs> buying flowers and plants and perennials so expensive but i'm hoping this will fill up and it's gonna look glorious maybe by next summer i don't know anyway anyway john's just doing some weeding he's over there um what else is going on We've got some figs coming through that's been fun um oh a fly came in my face what else have we got oh my god i've got to show you my pumpkin my pumpkin is so good. I'm all about the squash family, by the way. I've discovered squashes give me life. Now in the squash family, you've got pumpkins like that. I think you've got cucumbers, squashes, courgettes, I think are a, a squash. Um, yeah, but I'm all about the squashes. Like, you know when you're like, they're prolific, they're fun to grow, they're not troublesome. I love it. Anyway, my rhubarb is doing very nice. I've been able to give rhubarb to friends, which is cool. Um, the onions I thought had died, but actually, you pull them up, they're pretty good. They're quite small, but they're pretty good. And I got the onions on sale, so yeah, I feel like that was a real win. Here, I've got some radishes coming. Oh, I can't remember what they are. Um, I think they're carrots or beetroot. I really need to get better at like marking what I've done, but I did this when Mary was napping, so time was really limited, and I really should have, I should have marked it. Anyway, we'll figure it out when they get bigger. Um, in here, I've got my cucumber plant. Cucumbers are so fun to grow. Again, a squash. I'm all about the squash family. It's so fun. Look at that, it's just a cucumber, just hanging from a plant. I love it, and here's another cucumber in the future. It makes me so happy. Um, I run a bean pyramid. <laughs> Look at it. Oh my god, one strong wind and we're gonna be toppling over. I've also discovered I don't like runner beans. They're actually quite disgusting. They're one of the worst vegetables I think I've ever had. Um, look at this. It's just like a monster. Um, but yeah, I'm still waiting for runner beans. But to be honest, when I do get them, I keep giving them away because I'm not that into them. Um, tomatoes, these ones aren't doing very well. Potatoes are dying back. They didn't flower, but apparently not all potatoes flower. So I'm hoping we'll get potatoes, but who knows because they didn't flower. It's down here, nothing very interesting. Strawberries, boring. Not about the strawberries. Beetroot take longer than I thought. Bit boring, not that into them. Courgettes, courgettes give me life. 
oh, I love that squash family. Um, here's a courgette here. I have been picking so many courgettes. It's literally crazy. Like there's just constantly like courgettes to pick. It's amazing. And I'm like eating courgettes every day and pickling them. It's just constant. I mean, I have got a lot of courgette plants but still, it's amazing. And I've got so many in my freezer for like cooking over the winter. Um, tomato plant, I've picked some of them. Oh, I've got a new addition over here. I planted a blackberry bush. It's very tiny right now, but it's gonna climb up the wall, which I think will be really lovely. I think it will actually look really pretty. And then what have I got over here? Coriander. Oh, I think this is a weed. I'm gonna get rid of that. That's not coriander. Let's get rid of that. Um, but yeah, I've got coriander in here, basil, love basil. It's been really fun having a supply of basil. And then tomatoes, some of these looking good, some of them not so good. Over here, this is fun, look at this. Peppers, they're gonna apparently turn red, but sometimes I eat them regardless. Chilies, um, more courgettes. Um, <laughs> I can't see any, that's kind of overloaded. And then, oh, more courgettes. I would say this about courgettes. If you're gonna plant courgettes, go classic green. Don't mess around with the yellow ones. Don't mess around with the balls. Just go classic. They just, they produce better courgettes. Like I thought it'd be fun to have a mix, but actually now I'm all about the classic courgette. Okay, <sighs> we need to talk about this. This is where the M word is gonna come up. So in here, I had purple sprouting broccoli. It was looking good. It was big, it was tall, it was powerful. I was like, wow, look at me. I'm growing purple sprouting broccoli. I'm so excited. Um, I did everything I was meant to. I put in some like manure compost. I staked them. I was like, this is so cool. We're gonna have purple sprouting broccoli. It was amazing. Anyway, next thing I knew, they had holes in. And then I kept looking at the holes and I was like, oh my God, there's caterpillars on there. And the caterpillars were just eating and eating and eating the purple sprouting broccoli. And then next thing I knew, all my, my purple sprouting broccoli leaves were just fully eaten. It was like, ugh. and anyway, I kept like picking them off, which is kind of gross to do, but whatever. I sprayed them with bug spray and then <laughs> that was my neighbor. Um, they got a gravel drive. Um, but yeah, I kept spraying them with bug spray, which you're not meant to do too often. And then I was like picking off the caterpillars and eventually I thought, you know what? This is not fun. It's not bringing me joy. I'm not enjoying doing purple sprouting broccoli. It's just not fun. And it was kind of like, it was just not enjoyable because it was like, there was all these caterpillars. I felt like the purple sprouting broccoli was just like, like it was just like losing the battle, you know? So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna just clear it out. It's not bringing me joy. It's not working. There's holes all over it. It's suffering. I'm suffering. It's not fun. You know, we got into gardening for fun. Anyway, so I started to pull it up and I was like, yep, 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 feeling good about pulling it up. And then I looked at the roots and I was like, what is that? Those roots look really weird. I realized they were maggots. We had root maggots, which is apparently really common sorry this is a really boring frame um but apparently that's really common for um purple sprout and broccoli to get root maggots anyway i keep turning the soil i've left the netting open so that birds can get in if they want um i could probably fully expose it but to be honest i think all the maggots have gone now apparently maggots don't travel so they should have just been in that contained area and um yeah i think they're gone now i'm keeping this raised bed on bed rest <laughs> I don't know if you're meant to say that but I've got it on bed rest and then I got told maybe plant onions and garlic over the week in over the winter so that um yeah just to refresh the soil I don't really know anyway so that's what happened root maggots brassicas not for me I'm giving away my purple sprouting broccoli seeds I'm just like, do you know what? Gardening, it should be fun. I'm not feeling it. You know, not for me. Anyway, so that's that's that. And the, these potatoes, they're not doing very well. These ones got quite tall. These ones are kind of dying back very quickly and look very stubby. I don't know what's going on here. Um, strawberries, I might get rid of the strawberries. Again, they're not bringing me joy. They're not very prolific. Um, they hide underneath the leaves so next thing you know you've got strawberries but like you've missed them and then they get eaten I'm not into it um I've got some onions mixed in the onions are actually like 
surprisingly fun. I think I might do onions again, but I quite enjoy them. Um, what else is going on here? Not a huge amount in here. I think I might be digging up the strawberries because they're just taking up too much space and kind of overcrowding everything. I think I planted some beans here and I can't remember what they are. Um, my blueberry bush isn't looking great. My spinach is doing quite well. Um, I have had some more caterpillars go for my radish, but weirdly they've gone for the radish over here, but not the radishes over here, but don't say that too loudly, just in case the caterpillars hear me and attack. My honeyberry bush, that's not a success story, but you know, let's focus on the successes, which are, of course, my courgettes. Um, oh, over here, I've got some dwarf French beans. Dwarf French beans are so delicious. They're like a yellow colour, so they're nice and easy to find when you're harvesting them. And they are so delicious. You just boil them up, drain them, cook them with a bit of butter and garlic. Delicious. Um, yeah, my radish is here. Look, they're looking good. So weird, but they've gone for them over there. I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, more tomatoes in there. Chilies that I'm waiting for over there. Oh, actually, I do have some chilies over here. Um... Is it starting to rain? I think it might be. Oh, also, I got told when I started gardening, grow what you love to eat. And I do agree with that. Look, here's some chilies. So fun. Anyway, I'm going to go inside. We'll have a chat. Oh, look, more courgettes. I think I've got 10 courgette plants in total. <laughs> a lot of courgettes all over the place. More dwarf French beans. Again, delicious. Um, fun fact, Mary likes to eat the mint and she likes to pull her chair up to the mint bush. Just sit there chomping, chomping on the mint. Anyway, let's go inside and have a chat. Hello, hello. Um, here I am back again. Yes, yeah, so when I started gardening, somebody said to me, grow what you like to eat. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's a really good tip. And I think it is a good tip. Like it really is. Grow what you like eating. Completely agree. However, however, I only grew radishes because I got told they're easy. I didn't think I liked radishes. I'm the person who picks radishes out for salad because they're not that nice. Do you know what I mean? They're woody, they're spicy, they overpower. Not into them. Anyway, started growing them. Actually love radishes now. Homegrown radishes are way better. So I would say, yes, grow what you like to eat, but also grow what's easy and what's fun because like I don't love like um, rhubarb that much. It's nice, but how many rhubarb crumbles can you eat? Especially when you have apple trees, do you know what I mean? Like you can't have that many rhubarb crumbles. However, I love growing it and I love giving it away. And that's really joyful to me. So it's like, I'm really enjoying growing rhubarb. It's really easy, really fun. It's good to give away. It looks good in the garden. Do you know what I mean? Like I love it, it's really fun, but I don't necessarily love eating it. So I would say grow what you like to eat, but also <laughs> grow things that are just fun and easy and you might end up really enjoying them because actually they might taste better than the store-bought version, like um, radishes. By the way, pickled radishes are so good and you can put them in a stir fry and you can roast them. So there's loads you can do with a radish, not just have them raw in a salad. But yeah, I would say grow what you like to eat, but also grow what's fun and joyful and easy like the squash family so easy loving it they look fun like when you grow a pumpkin they like spiral up like they do in cinderella that's so fun cucumbers so fun um and i like cucumbers but i don't love them like nobody goes oh my god i had the best cucumber ever i don't know i just think yeah grow what you enjoy like eating but also grow things that are easy and fun and like don't give you anxiety, <laughs> you know, like I love purple sprouting broccoli, but actually I hated growing it. And now I'm so glad that I'm not growing it. <laughs> and I won't go back again. You know, when you're like, I'm not gonna grow that again. It wasn't fun, it wasn't joyful. And um, yeah, I'm just not into it. You know, when you're like, I'll just spend a couple of pounds at Waitrose and get me some purple sprouting broccoli when I feel the need, but I don't wanna grow it because it's not fun. Whereas pumpkins, butternut squashes, I don't actually love butternut squashes. They're okay, you know, when you're like, but I'd never generally choose to buy one because they're a pain to like prep. <laughs> you know, when you're like, I'm always convinced I'm gonna chop a finger off when I prep them. But like, I don't love eating butternut squash. I will eat them. Um, I will cook with them. They're nice roasted that, you know, you can make a soup, you can put them in curry, whatever. 
but I generally don't buy them because I'm not a huge fan of them but I'm loving growing them and because I'm loving growing them I will cook with them so yeah that's my advice basically grow what you like to eat but also grow what's easy and fun and enjoyable because it's like flowers you're not growing flowers to eat them you're growing flowers because they're fun and enjoyable and you can think about that with veg too so that's my advice that is my wisdom as a newbie gardener grow what's fun as well as what you like to eat because yeah i love growing cucumbers and i love growing squashes and i love growing courgettes and um they're not always things that i have in my shopping basket so you know and radishes i hated radishes i wasn't into them now i'm like the radish queen i love it anyway that's my video thank you so much for watching i'll see you again soon goodbye